uh, hi uh, today we are going to see uh, uh, how we can do the spike arrest policy in apg okay so in order to do that i'll just log into my apg platform i'll just close this and i'll open uh, newly the apg okay it's already logged in so in the apg dot com slash h you have to log in with your uh, credential which you have signed up in apg.com and uh, in default it will come with 60 days uh, trial and I will create a spike, ar uh, spike arrest policy now. So I am going to create a new proxy. So you choose a reverse proxy you just give name. Okay, so in that I am just giving this name as spike arrest policy demo. Okay, in that I'm going to invoke my target backend API. So for that I'll just invoke this mock target api.net. So this API just returns a hello guest as a response. So this is a HTTP gate. So I'll just keep that as a my target API for this particular demo. So I'll give us a pass through. So basically when I in, want to invoke my API, I don't want to pass any authentication for now for this demo. So here uh, you want HTTP as URL, then you select this secure if you need a HTTP URL then you select default as well as I want my IP to be secure so I'm giving HTTPS and then uh, initially as I'm just doing a development I want to deploy it in the my uh, non-production environment so I just selected the test and I'll click create and deploy so I just created a basic proxy and uh, now I'm going to add spike arrest policy in the this particular proxy okay so it's added so I'll just click edit proxy So in the edit proxy, uh, I will go to the develop tab where I'm going to add the policy. So you select uh, under the default, uh, you add uh, click preflow and click select. So in that I'm going to choose spiker as policy. So this is the XML for the configuration for the spiker as policy. So basically what it does is uh, it does the denial of service attack. If anybody, you know, uh, attacking your web services or API with a lot of requests at the same time, you can control that and uh, this is the main uh, advantage for the spike arrest policy so this is to achieve the denial of attack if anybody is doing so we wanted to deny that attack so that is what this uh, spike arrest policy will do and how this is different from the other quota policy so quota policy also similar but uh, the purpose of quota policy is totally different uh, quota policy is basically how many request uh, for the particular uh, api consumer for example api user or api provider how many I wanted to limit them okay so this is just a uh, I have a API and I'm giving my partner for subscription in the particular window uh, I wanted to invoke 100 uh, request so that kind of limit you can set it in the quota so the quota is mainly to handle your subscription of the API okay this spike this spike arrest is it's not like that this is not time bounded and this is mainly in a particular uh, few second or uh, uh, any request uh, if I wanted to arrest that particular request for example somebody is hitting my API a uh, lot of time so I wanted to avoid that those kind of things we will use this spike arrest policy okay so for this test I will allow only uh, one request per second okay so I will just change it and then I remove whatever the unwanted property I don't need for this particular integration now I will just uh, click save okay so I added the policy and uh, rate I am limiting one per second okay so I just uh, give save So it's submitting division to the server. So it see it's it's saving now. So once it's saved, we'll be able to oh, invoke this so revision is saved. I'll just go to trace and I'll just trigger it from here also. Okay, so I can trigger it from the here as well. So I'll just click uh, start trace session so that I want can see the results and all here. I'll just click get. Okay, basically I'm just uh, invoking the spike arrest demo. Okay, I have to click send. So I just click send. So it's invoking 200. So this page, if you see, uh, I have given one per second only. So I'm coming and manually clicking. So I'll be able to get through. Okay. So for this demo, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, because I need to submit more than one request per second. So I'll use SOAP UI for that. For this one, I'll just create a new uh, REST project so that, you know, I can uh, uh, give multiple requests at the same time. Okay. So this is my request for the API. I'll just try to see that it's working or not. Okay from my SOPI also it's working so I just create load test for this one 
I'll add a test case in my test so I'll give OK. So this is uh, my test suite. Okay, so here I'll create load test script, load test one. Here, right, so I'm going to invoke five threads. Um, I'll just run this for uh, total run. I'll just run 20 runs I'll do, okay. So 20 run I'm going to do overall and uh, each with five thread. So which means every uh, second, right, because I'm also giving a one second delay, every second it's going to five uh, request to my api okay so i'll just invoke this one so i just invoked it so now if you see here right the uh, uh, session uh, you will be able to see the difference see here uh, it invoked and also right so you got the 429 error as well which means okay i'll just show you the description of the uh, 429 http status code 429 too many requests so uh, it's not allowing your request to hit the backend server because basically we are not getting the hello request as a response the server is the apg platform uh, it's rejecting your request with uh, too many requests here yeah so this way you can arrest uh, the number of requests which is coming to your system if anybody is doing hacking uh, so you want to deny that service then what you can do is you can add this spike arrest policy okay so now uh, yeah so we have done with the spike uh, spike arrest policy uh, I also told what is the difference between the quota policy and spike arrest policy. So spike arrest is to deny your service at any point of time. Okay. So at any cost, you wanted to stop that service because it's like, you know, unwanted requests are coming. You wanted to stop it. And the quota policy is like you wanted to give some quota to specific application or specific partner, uh, your customer. So for example, I want to allow my customer to invoke only thousand requests per uh, minute or thousand requests per hour. So those kind of subscription model, you can use the quota and uh, yeah so spike risk for the mm, dys only denial of service only you will use this policy so in this demo uh, i'll just have uh, one more policy also covered so i'll go to api proxy we are going to use access control policy okay i'll give api proxy yeah so i'm going to create a new proxy for that particular demo reverse proxy okay i'll just uh, name this as a um, access control policy demo so this also i'll just use my uh, mock api endpoint which will give hello guest hello guest as a response i'll just copy that and uh, i'll click next i have this also i'm being passed through only and i'll default setting i'll leave it and here i'll choose the test uh, deployment because i'm going to deploy in my test environment so this is the trial edition so that is why you have only uh, two environment test and rod so if you have your uh, official environment then you can have uh, more environment as well like dev test uh, yeah so you can have a uat and production and so on okay so now i have created a proxy i'm going to edit a proxy and in that i'm going to add an access control policy so i'll go to the develop tab to add a policy and in the pre-flow because i'm adding a pre-flow because uh, whenever the request comes i wanted to validate that uh, information so that is why we are adding it in a, um, the pre-flow of default i'll just choose access control so this policy is mainly for uh, to allow the request coming from uh, specific ip okay so i want to uh, what i'll do i'll just disallow the request uh, from my ip so i'll just remove this one Basically, I wanted to allow all the requests except which is coming from my IP. Okay, so I'll just check what is my IP. What is my IP? So this is my internet based IP. I'll just copy this IP and I'll just give this one. Okay, so if this is my IP, so now any request coming from this IP, it will deny. And uh, so if you give 24, right? So this is 8 and 16 and 32. Uh, okay, 8, uh, 16, 24 and 32. So if I give 32, it will only validate this one. Even though uh, my IP is 12, it's going to validate only this one, it will allow. Okay, so but I don't, I, I want to do exact match, then you have to give a 32 mask. Okay, I'm going to deny this one. I'll save this one. Okay, it's getting saved which means uh, it's saving and, and also you know it's deploying your changes to your test environment okay 
and uh, yeah so my changes are there now i'll just trace it from here okay so when you do a trace right um, this is i will I'll, I'll copy this url which is access control policy demo i'll send here and just to check uh, my api is working fine okay it's because we are giving a mock test endpoint as well right uh, so i'll just copy this one i'm going to okay so here uh, when we invoke it it is invoking from the apg platform now i wanted to invoke from external right so i'll just give a start trace session as well i'm going to invoke it from a postman okay so uh, this is the url okay i better write it add new window so i'm calling my api from the external rest client which is a postman i'm using here i'm going to call this api okay so when i call this api what it's saying though it's coming from this ip because this is my ip i have given a denied so that is why it's coming so if i uh, give some other ip right for example see here also you see you got a 403 uh, response so what is 403 if you come and see from this status code forbidden so access has been denied and uh, now i'll go to uh, my policy i'll change a plate okay uh, in the policy i'll select this policy i'll just give some other ip 113 okay so uh, because my ip is 112 i wanted to deny only 113 okay which is not my ip so i'm going to test it now so once it's saved i'm going to test it earlier when i was testing right so it saved so earlier when i was testing it was giving access denied error which is 403 now I will invoke it because I changed the IP in my policy as 113. Okay, so able to invoke it. Okay, so again, uh, I'll give my correct IP only or I'll just, you know, I'll do this 24, which is going to check 8, 16 and 24. Okay, this three digit only it's going to check. Uh, so uh, 113 is not my IP, but if you see this mask, right, uh, till this point, my IP will match because my IP ends with 112. So I'll just check this one because it's same now. If I check this now, it will be invalid. So basically, you know, it will not allow because it is only validating till this endpoint because we have given a, it's only validating till this three digit. Okay. So 8, 16 and 24. So it is matching only till 202. So if you want to do a complete match, then you can give 32. So uh, 8, 16. Okay. 8, 16, 24, 24 plus 8, 32. Yeah. So I gave 32. Uh, it will match exactly so 113 is not my IP so now it's saved so my IP is 112 so it will work okay so this is access control policy if at all you know you wanted to block some access for specific IP okay so here you know uh, I only denying and also in the match rule you can have a allow also because when you add there is one more section came allow so for example you wanted to deny specific IP or allow specific IP those kind of things you can do it in the in this configuration yeah, so today what we have seen initially, we have seen the spike arrest policy, how we can arrest uh, number of requests which is coming to your system for some attack or hijack. Uh, so those kind of thing uh, we can um, avoid using the spike arrest policy. And also we have seen now access control policy, how we can control uh, our ac uh, access coming from the which, uh, different IP, how we can control those things which we have uh, seen it through access control policy. Yeah. Thank you for watching uh, thank you bye bye so if you want uh, any other integration or api video so i also have a youtube channel uh, tech lightning uh, where you know you can see different playlist for different uh, videos i'll just go to tech lightning so this is my channel so from this channel you can uh, see different videos so in the playlist i also have added uh, APG series uh, and also I have added integration series and for MuleSoft I have MuleSoft integration architect videos, MuleSoft MCD level 1 chapter and also I have another two playlists one is mainly for the AnyPoint studio which is IDE and our other one is AnyPoint platform so I have covered these videos if you like this video you like it in the uh, YouTube and also uh, you share it with your friends and also you subscribe this uh, channel uh, so that you know whenever I upload any video you will be able to see the notification. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.